What's going on with Aya Sain? I am Serene and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be homemade hot sauce with sawfish fritters or sawfish cakes or fish cake, cod cakes, whatever you want to call it. And I did do a video like this on my channel about three years ago. So this is essentially an updated video along with a request from a subscriber who asked me to make the homemade hot sauce that goes with fish cakes. So I've just put my spin on all of it and we'll see how much it's changed. So we're going to start with the hot, so the hot sauce. So we have five scotch bonnet peppers, red ones, three cloves of garlic, one stalk of green onion, basil, salt, and distilled vinegar. Well, I'm using pickling vinegar, which is a bit more acidic than distilled vinegar, but same thing, it doesn't matter. And then I'm sprinkling some paprika just for some extra color. And uh, you know, it's simple, it's easy, and we're just gonna blend. So as you can see, it's of a certain type of color. Obviously, if you wanted it to be darker, you put more red peppers in there, you probably reduce the vinegar input. But I think the distilling vinegar, vinegar really worked well in this recipe. No, the pickling vinegar, sorry, really worked well in this recipe because even though it had a strong scent, you just have to have it sit for a bit where it absorbs all of the flavors of the different ingredients in the hot sauce. And trust me, this is hot. So you can have it as is if you go with spice, but at the end of the video, I'll show you a way in which you can ensure that you enjoy the spice without <laughs> burning out your throat back. And I'm just showing you the consistency of the hot sauce. And I do put it into a mason jar that I have ensured is sanitized and good to go. So now into our sawfish cakes. So here we have yellow pepper, tomatoes, basil, onions, thymes, red pepper, and green onions. And, you know, finely chopped as best as possible. Don't bother stress out yourself too much, but, you know, try and do the thing. So we have garlic paste, which is homemade garlic paste, and my homemade green seasoning. Now, I've done a video with my garlic paste before, but if you want to see the green season, just comment in the comment section. We have a sawfish that I boiled in sugar water, soaked in a bit, and then deboned myself. I have flour, baking powder, and the different seasonings there, and I will have all of that in the description. So this is a sawfish or cod that I used um in my selfish cakes and you know very simple easy to do recipe so we're gonna get all of this into the bowl and as you can see did i say time well i have time in there <laughs> but we're gonna get all of this into the bowl and make a mixture just look colorful i love playing with color and having my food look appealing when i am cooking so now i'm adding the green seasoning and the garlic paste I'm just going to get all that goodness into the bowl because mm, food has to be flavorful. It has to be pre and it has to be flavorful. So you're just going to ensure that's incorporated and mixed very well. We're now going to add our flour and baking powder mixture. Now, I know some people like having flat fritters or flat fish cakes. That is not my style. I like fluffy sawfish fritters, fluffy I want them to look like balls. <laughs> so now um, we're adding some water. And I haven't told you how much flour, but everything, all of the description will be, the ingredients list will be in the description box. And I will say that I use just under two cups of water as well. So I'm going to ensure that all of that is there. And you slowly add the water, one, because you want to ensure that you're not making the batter too loose. Because you know, water more than flour, if you don't know what that means. You know, it just means that <laughs> you have more water than flour. There's a deeper meaning, but you know how Caribbean people are with their folk folklores and proverbs and stuff like that. But you just keep adding water until it gets to a consistency that you like. So you don't want it to be too loose, but you don't want it to be too thick. You want it to just fry well and nice and set good. You know, just look sexy. So I'm going to still continue to add water. And I'm literally, the first cup of water went in like pretty easy. But for the rest of it, I took my time just adding the water just to ensure that, you know, the batter is where I want it to be, you know, runny. I mean, I don't want it long from here to Gibraltar. But at the same time, I don't want it to look like I'm making brown. It's like, you know, it's like brownie batter, just dropping and plopping and stiff, stiff, stiff. So then I'm going to go in and I'm going to start adding my black pepper. 
And, you know, I just eyeball that. Caribbean cooking, no got no measurements, you know, just drop everything out of the pot. Wait for everybody to tell you. Hashtag your ancestors, everybody. This is how you went to stop. And the curry powder really isn't for flavor, it's for coloring. So technically, you could swap this out for turmeric. I kind of just throw some, th some in the cap and then dump it out in the batter. So I'm just going to mix, 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 mix. And the complete seasoning is there is essentially just for me to eyeball how much salt I wanted to put into it. I did not end up putting any of that because the salt in the sawfish was still enough. So here you can see I've dropped one of the I've dropped some of the batter in and just frying it up and you can see that golden brown color. Um ideally you want to use a bigger pot than this, but I wasn't gonna take that big pot out. So I fry in one little pot that I usually cook my rice in and just you know, start it out. Make it look good. It's just looking nice and bally. That this is what I like. I like my fluffy sawfish cakes. When you yam it for full, yes. So we're just gonna go ahead, just ensuring that we're doing what we're doing. And as you can see, I put it on a wire rack so that the oil can drip off of it. But then eventually, I still do put it on a plate with some paper towel just to soak up that oil because you don't want it to be too oily. You still want to be conscious about you know fry foods and stuff like that so at the end of it i do show you now how i do my hot sauce and what i'm gonna do is mix it in with mayo so it's gonna be like a spicy mayo hot sauce and this makes it a lot more palatable i use two tablespoons of hot sauce mixture but that's because me i love spicy food love 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 but don't follow me if you know you can't handle spice a tablespoon of the hot sauce will work one teaspoon of the hot sauce will work and you just use the mayo to make it you know so you just have a little bit of spice but it's comfortable so i'm just gonna show you how it looks and trust me guys the hot sauce did bang <laughs> so now we're gonna just plate up a few of those you know sawfish fritters they're looking all golden brown you know make it fancy with some dried parsley bada bing bada boom and there we are we are looking good starters this can be used for starters it can use before breakfast it could be for lunch it could be for dinner it could be for um house parties just finger foods like listen this is one versatile meal and it is pescatarian friendly and you know i hope you guys enjoy Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed watching me create this remember to like comment share and subscribe for more videos like this if you'd love to see me create anything of your choice, if you just leave it in the comment section down below, I'll be definitely picking it up. And thank you guys so, so much for all the support. And remember, bon appetit!